hello friends welcome back to my channel this is the part two of the learning SPSS with me and here i will be again solving the question but this time i will just tell you the procedures of uh, the previously explained questions just normal this superficially but this time we will be solving chi-square test and how to explain a chi-square test okay so that will be the today's aim so first of all i would like to you i would like to request you all to look at the questions that i have shown in the screen and to read them all and try to do it here i'll first show you how i am about to input every data so, first, so serial number of the child six is weight health card now you can see that the computer has automatically filled up the values types but we have to correct it serial number is a string a numeric six they are string is is our numeric health card it is a string string means strings are the values which are quantitative whereas other numerical value we give the type numeric and for quantitative values we give a uh, string after that width you have to you don't have to change anything decimals you have to make them zero because we don't need anything in decimal here and then leveling we will do here serial number of children serial number of children we will write it in a you know full form after that we have values so as i have already explained we give value only when we have to write yes or no or we have to write present or absent okay so one for male value and two for female then we will add so likewise we will do same for the health card also yes one for yes and two for no hmm. after that let's look at the measure so a serial number it is a nominal then because it's not a measurement right it's just a ranking normal ranking and it falls in the categorical variable nominal and ordinal so that's why it is a nominal after that is is also a scale but weight is also a scale health card is also again nominal and sex is nominal i hope that you have understood it categorical variables nominal variables falls like serial number and health card yes or no kind of thing or sex or blood group anything that is not just that is just categories but no ranking and all of things we categorize it as the measurement that's about the variable view now let's go and input in the data view now you can see i have already filled them up okay this is how i have filled them now let's go to the question wise so the first question it says uh, input the following information in spaces and i have done that now second question says find the average weight of the given children and also find the standard deviation now if the question had said find the average weight of the children according to the sex okay then we could have done it in a independently test wise formula but since the question has just asked us the average weight of the children without giving the another variable that's why we will do it just uh, by the descriptive means first of all understand that if only one variable is given and then it has been asked to find the average of that variable then we will go according to the descriptive test we will not do the independent test because for that two variables need, are needed and for that two variables it's one should be scale and another should be categorical so now only weight is asked so we will go to analyze then we will go to the descriptive statistics and there we will go for the descriptives okay and for descriptives since we have been asked about the weight that is average weight we will keep it in the variables and then we will press okay so this is the value that we get so we get the mean 
that is 15.75 and standard deviation that is 3.837 so now the first question was what is the average weight of the given children and find the standard deviation so we have through the descriptive statistics we got to find the average weight of the children that is 15.75 and that is standard deviation is 3.837 very easy to do nothing more complicated now let's go to another one question that is is male weight significantly greater than female justify statistically so now what question is asking is one variable it is male and female and another variable is weight we have to compare the male and female weight and find out whether it is significantly greater than female or not through statistically that's why in this case we will do the independent t-test because here we need the comparison of two variables one is categorical variable and one is the scale variable now let me show how do we proceed for that now we'll go to analyze then we go for the comparative means then we go for the independent sample t-test one variable testing variable is the weight okay so we'll over weight what is the grouping variable it is the sex between male and female so grouping variable define groups one one male that we have already given the value group two two for female we have given the value continue and then okay so this is the independence sample t-test value so from here what we can see is the average weight of the male is 16.45 and the average weight of female is 14.56 so according to this we can know that the weight of male is greater than that of the female it's very clear but it is not statistically significant why because if you look as i said that always look for the significance value okay when you always go for the significance value this is also known as the p value that is probability of the error value so if the probability of error is less than five percent that is less than 0 0.005 0 0.05 then we call it statistically significant but if it is more than that that is statistically non-significant here you can see the value is 0 0.304 which is greater than the 0 0.05 that is why it is not statistically significant but our inference will be inference will be here the average weight of male is 16.45 and standard deviation of 4.503 and the average weight of female is 14.56 with the standard deviation of 3.245 your male weight is uh, 2 kg more than the female weight but it is not statically significant since the p value is 3.04 which is more than 0 0.05 now the second question the third question is find the correlation between the age and weight and interpret the result so i have already explained the correlation how to find the correlation in my previous video so here in this question it is given asking you to find the correlation so that's why you don't have to you know uh, like worry whether you have to do pure three test or correlation test we do correlation test okay when the uh, variables are both scale variable now i will show you surfacely how to do correlation test i have already explained that in my previous video For the correlation test, we will go to analyze, then we will go to correlate option, there we will go for bivariate and the question asks is for the A's and weight. So we will go for A's, then we will input next one is the weight and then we will do OK. And as we do OK, we will get the value this one where the correlation value is here which is 0 0.828 why because we have to always look at the value that is above the significance to value okay that is the p value so here we can find the Pearson correlation value 0 0.28 and also you know the significance value that is p value is 0 0.000 okay so that means so what is the inference that we can get from here is here the correlation coefficient Pearson correlation value that is r is equal to 0 0.828 which indicates that that there is high positive correlation between the age and weight of the children which is statistically significant since the p value is 0 0.008 so why did i call it high to be strongly correlated or as i already said that if the correlation value is from 0 0.7 to 1 that means it is strongly correlated so what is the value that we have got here was 0 0.8 so that is strongly correlated that comes in this category that's why we call it as a strong correlation it is a positive value because it was from 0 plus 1 to plus 0 the value was within plus 1 to plus 0 so positive value means positively correlated how much positively correlated 
strongly positively correlated that's the inference i hope that you have understood it is there any association between the sex of the children and the health cat so here both the variables these are the categorical variable this cannot be measured so since both of this variable we cannot measure them that is why they will fall under they will be solved with the help of chi square test because if both the variables are categorical then the test that we will do is the chi square test there is no confusion there should be no confusion on that i have already explained it in my part one video so now let's see how we will solve a question of chi square test so this is the our data view so for here from here we'll go to analyze then we will go to the descriptive statistics here you will get an option called cross tabs so you will open it and then no matter you know which component you keep where so we have been asked about the sex of the children and the health card so one one variable i will put sex and next variable i will put the health card and then i will go for the statistics option here i will tick at the chi square and i will say continue and then i will do okay so in this way i will get my cross chi square test value so you can see here pearson chi square and we have got the value of 3.039 from the above cross tab from the above result we can see here if you look at this table male have nine health cards nine female have health cards whereas only four female members have the health card so that means male have more male children have more health cards than the female children so, which gives a p value of 0. 081 this is the p-value okay significance 0.081 which is more than 0.05 so it is not statistically associated that is there is no any relationship between the health card and the gender that is male and female that is what we have to write by looking at this that's very easy first to look how many male has the health card and how many female has the health card then you look at the significance value and then you see whether it is more than or less than since it is more than 0.05 that is why it is not statistically significant and there is no relationship between health card between male and female so i have just explained it surfacely i have not gone to detail this is just to solve the questions that comes in your exam especially for the mbbs students i hope that you liked it please do like share and subscribe to my channel